Hey everyone, I'm here to share some projects that I've made for Halloween. Um, so I was doing up some projects um, to be featured on another live video um, that'll be aired separately. Uh, and so I was using the Switch hat from Paper Tray Ink and this beaded cauldron. You probably can't see the dyes too well, but there's a cauldron in here. And so obviously thinking about Halloween since that's coming up in a few weeks. Um, so here's some other things that I've used in using those two particular products. Um, this Charming Tags one, I forget the name of this, but this is also a paper tray ink um, tag dye set. So I have this one and there's two other ones that are very similar. Came out around the same time. And I'll have to look for the name of that. This one is the Just Sentiments um, Halloween stamp set. This Scaredy Cat, and I used the Trick or Treat from that. So you can see all my projects are Halloween related here. Um, this one is called, um, on the, these are the border ones, right? Corner Adorner, August. So this was the August release and it's a little spider web and there's a spider and a string. And a sentiment. Uh, this is an old one. This is the Friendship Jar Fillers. I use this because it's got a bunch of different Halloween sentiments. This actually goes with their their jar sets. Uh, this one is Caught in My Web. I love this die set. It also has a stamp that goes along with it. Um, so I use that. Uh, I use this fringe die. And I'll show you what I did with that. This actually was released as part of a, the Stamp Affair kit that they did live a couple years ago. Um, this one I did attend, and I and they sold the kit so you could follow along at home. And then this one, which is the Tag Creations Modern Gift Card set. So it looks like this. It's got a bunch of different things in here. So I'll show you what I did with this. So those are the products, so the stamps and dies that I used. Um, other things I used my googly eyes in different sizes. This is how I store them. Uh, I also used some of this ink, smoky shadow, simply chartreuse, harvest gold, and orange zest. Very much the Halloween color palette, I guess you could say. And then some of the felt, um, orange zest. True Black, Smoky Shadow, and um, Simply Chartreuse. Those are the felt colors that I've used. I may have used some other things, but I think that's, for the most part, what I've got here. So, here's what I made. This is probably hard to see. It's a little cauldron that I picked up at Target for um, from the dollar spot. So, I was thinking, how can you do little treats for kids at Halloween? Um... So I put together a couple of different things. Um, here is the uh, little hat, the witch's hat. That's um, I put it as an eraser topper. And then I bundled a couple of pencils together if you want to give something that's not um, candy related. And the way I did this is the only part that's sewn is actually this little stitching on the hat just to give it some contrast. I hot glued this, but you can just pull the hat off the end of the, the eraser um, it's only hot glued from two pieces of felt. So I cut some glitter felt here and then on the back, some regular felt and hot glued it together instead of stitching it. When I cut this, um, felt out, because this is felt, um, the glitter part, it didn't cut all the way through with the holes, which is what I wanted, right? I didn't want to have to stitch it. So I created a little eraser topper. I thought it was really cute. And then I just added a tag here, tied some, um, what is this, cheesecloth? Because I think it looks like a mummy's bandage um, to these pencils. All right, what else did I do? Here's another set of pencils. Um, this one I put the um, hat on a larger tag, and it's one of the tags I showed you, and then stamped Happy Halloween, and then I've got little spiders crawling all over that are stamped. And again, um, more of the cheesecloth. And then I think the last one I have with the hat is 
this one right here. And I created this one using the tag, same tag that was used for the other one I just showed you. This tag is just scored at the bottom uh, at three quarters of inches, three quarters of an inch on two tags. And then I glued the two bottoms together and put a hole of, put a hole in the bottom with my big bite to, or my crocodile, sorry, my crocodile to um, make the hole really big. Um, and then slid the pencil through it. Now this pencil happens to have a topper on it. So I actually included a little treat in there um, in, in addition to the pencil. And then I just added some sequins and a tag and tied it at the top. So I just thought that was another cute way to dress this up. Um, the last pencil thing I did, <laughs> pencil toppers, was me thinking about, okay, how can I use this. I made a little witch's broom um, and I at, attached a tag to it. So this says best witches. And the way I did this was using a portion of this fringe cut. Now, again, I showed you the die. So all I did with this was used a little of the, um, those little, um, what do you call them? They're, they're not glue dots. Yeah, glue dots. Um, they're little, those little sticky dots. Um, I used three of them, one at the end on the inside that touches the pencil and then along the way somewhere towards the middle. And then again, at the end here of where I stopped the fringe. And then I just took my needle and thread and wrapped it around the broom, the, the little hairs of the broom, and then went through the bottom and tied a knot, but not at the top because Using a needle is probably a lot easier, so you don't have to thread anything through with your fingers. And then I just tied a little um, tag to it. So that's how I did the little broom. And those are my witch's hat projects. So uh, the other thing that I did come up with is some projects. I couldn't stop. I was on a roll, I think. <laughs> um, this is one I did with the pencils too. It's that um, tag die set. I uh, actually did a little creative die cutting here where I cut the tag down even smaller than it was and actually made it double-sided. You can see that. And then I stamped Have a Spooktacular Day. And this is the um, Stitched Bat from Paper Tray Ink. And again, there are no holes here because I kind of finagled it so it wouldn't have holes. It wouldn't cut the holes. And that's just less pressure. If anybody's wondering, um, because it is wool felt, and if you put less pressure on the die, it won't cut all the way through. So um, my holes have stayed in. And normally there would be stitching holes all over this thing. So that's one of the ones I did. Um, with the cauldron, I did go ahead and stitch this one out. I thought it would be nice to see an example of what the cauldron looks like when it's stitched. So I added sequins in here of different sizes um, to some of the green felt and then, you know, stitched the whole cauldron together and then created this little, again, treat tag gift, gift um, package. So this is a large tag that is scored at one inch from, from the flat end on two different tags. And then I glued the two tags together and then tied a bow at the top. And the little gift is inside. And this is hand sanitizer, if anybody's wondering. So there we go. Um, I did do a tag, um, an actual gift tag. I was thinking you could put it on a bottle um, or what have you, whatever gift. Um, this one, I glued all the googly eyes with hot glue. So there's no stitching on this one either. This is more glitter felt. Um, and again, because it is so thick, it doesn't cut the, the little holes out for the stitching of the felt. And then I cut the little piece, which is, um, the contents of the cauldron. And instead of stitching it, I just glued, hot glued wiggly eyes, um, into the cauldron. So that thought was cute. And then there's that, um, web that I showed you that die. And I added a little spider and called it, which is brew. So there's that tag. Okay. The last thing I have to share with you is not a Halloween project. It's actually a reuse of the cauldron die. This is that cauldron die. And what I've done is um, taken it and made it into a popcorn bucket. So I cut the little legs off of the cauldron. I cut it out of paper, um, which is, this is the Pure Poppy Bitty Big um, stack. And uh, I just die cut this in white. And instead of um, 
you know, yellow or something like that. I just added some ink to kind of make it look like it's butter and put this little tag, you're a treat. And on the inside of the gift tag is a cinema gift card. Although the cinemas are closed right now, right? So I thought I would do one where it's just a non-Halloween sort of treat, but another way to use the cauldron dye that I shared with you. So those are my projects for now. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.